you know what the number one song was when um, JP2 got elected Pope? Let's groove. No, good guess. It's, um, you're the one that I want. I guess Greece was pretty big. This is Jenna Saint Stories debut. What up, Kels? Hey, Jenna, you're on Saint Stories. I just have a quick question. Can we do a giveaway at the end of the JP2 video? Or a trip to Poland, that'd be fun. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Kelsey. I'm Therese. And welcome to a very special episode of Saint Stories because if you didn't already know, it's our birthday! Woo! One year. One year. How life has aged me since then. We should do a side by side. Happy one year, Kels. Happy one year to you. Happy one year to the man we're talking about. Who are we talking about today, Kels? Where to even begin? A poet, a playwright, a skier, a hiker, an intellectual, a philosopher, and no, I'm not talking about myself. We are talking about Pope St. John Paul II. He was our very first saint story one year ago today, so we are back to celebrate him on my favorite day of the year. It's just the Lord's generosity that Saint Stories began on JP2's feast day because for me and for so many other people, the life of Pope Saint John Paul II has made sainthood more real, more attainable, more relatable. He died on April 2nd, 2005 on the eve of Divine Mercy Sunday and the middle of my second grade spring break. So here I am just sipping a juice box on the coast of Florida, living my best life. And my mom comes and tells me that the Pope has died. Even though I was young and didn't have a lot of cares in the world, I recognize the profundity of the moment. It was the beginning of a deep friendship that would change my life and the recognition of the impact that John Paul II had on the world and on the church. In the years following as a teenager and as a young adult, the wisdom and genuine love of John Paul II continued to shape not only who I was but who I wanted to be which is a person in love with Jesus. I could read you the biography of Pope John Paul II and if you haven't learned about him I encourage you there are so many stories so many books so many things written about him and his legacy and his impact from his childhood to his papacy all of his written works will surely inspire you but if you can take anything away from this video or zero in on anything today for his feast day I pray that it would be this in his own words Pope St. John Paul II appeals to us. What really matters in this life is that we are loved by Christ and that we love him in return. In comparison to the love of Jesus, everything else is secondary. And without the love of Jesus, everything is useless. John Paul II, through his witness and through his friendship, has continually taught me two things. How to love and how to suffer. And the answer to both of these questions is simple. We do so with Jesus. We see that through the history of John Paul II's life. When he lost lost his family, both of his parents, and was practically alone in this world, but did not live as an orphan. Before John Paul II had any influence on the world, he was influenced continually by the love of Jesus. It changed his heart, it formed his intellect, which then went on to shape our church, to shift our perspectives, to give us new insights into human love, into divine love, into the person of Jesus and his desire to be in relationship with us. Through one of his most famous works, The Theology of the Body, he appeals to us to love in a real and genuine way. Even when true love is demanding, even when true love is contrary to what the world offers us, we have hope that we were created by love and for love, and that even in this life, we can encounter a glimpse of the eternal. And so today, as we reflect on the life of Pope St. John Paul II, I am more grateful than ever for his friendship. And although I look back and realize that the foundation of friendship is normally common interests, common experiences, and there's not a lot of parallels between my life and the life of Pope St. John Paul II. I realize that we have the same human heart, the same yearning for the divine, the same yearning to be loved, the same yearning to be filled, and that I can be encouraged and you can be encouraged by the words of our beloved JP2 to not be afraid, to pursue holiness in all circumstances, to look to Jesus in all things, that he he is the only one who can give meaning to our lives. The world will offer us so many options that counteract 
what we were made for. It can tempt us with the idea that we can be fulfilled by our own means, that we can chase after worldly success or disordered love. But we remember today especially that our faith is true, that our Savior is true, and without him, life is meaningless. And in the words of JP2, it is Jesus that you seek when you dream of happiness. And I don't know about you, but I would love to be happy in this life. So let's resolve today to continually seek Jesus, to not be afraid of the demands that love makes, because Jesus is with us at every moment. Have courage, my friend, and be not afraid. JP2, pray for us. But before you go, I have a little something something to celebrate our birthday here on Saint Stories. I'm not sure if you've heard, but we just released a brand new Saintly Scents candle collection over on Blessed Is She, and we want to send some to you. Trez is bringing them out. One lucky winner. Bring them out, bring them out. Here we go. We got prayer time inspired by the Blessed Mother, little frankincense and myrrh action. We've got study time inspired by St. Thomas Aquinas, little redwood and cedar. And we've got dream time inspired by St. Joseph, the best. If you would like to win this complete collection, comment down below with your favorite JP2 quote. And on All Saints Day, we will pick a winner, reach out and send you your candles. And if you wanna know more about these candles, check out this video that Therese and I made. It was pretty fun. We'll see you there, bye.